Welcome back to Final Fantasy Ever, and we are in a bit of a pinch. Yuna has been stolen by the Albed Sykes. We are playing them in Blitzball. We have to get her back. They really, 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 really want us to, like, forfeit the match so that, you know, they can, they can beat us. And then they'll give Yuna back, but we're gonna stop them instead and uh, just kill them so that, you know, we can get Yuna back and still win the Blitzball. As you can see, the Blitzball is happening on the screens in the stadium as we do this. And what are those things? Those are machines. We haven't seen a ton of machines in this game, you'll notice. Oh, thanks, Lulu. Oh, thanks, Lulu. I wonder what we should use on them. It's lightning. We should use lightning on them. They don't hit that hard, though, so it's it's mostly okay. I can't remember how much damage we do. Do we one-shot them? We're going to find out. We one-shot them, absolutely. So I'm glad I didn't waste a shot on, uh, on this dude. Because we should just kill him, I think. Oh, no. They have defense. I forgot. Now we should just kill them. Does Lancet do more than our sphere? It's probably about the same, but we heal with it, so it's better, technically. But mostly we're just biding time. I mean, if Lulu gets two turns, they're dead, so it doesn't really matter. We're in a rush. Don't stop. Just, just like, walk through them. It's fine. All right, let's, let's go. Let's take them out. Let's boost our defense. So they don't do so much damage to us, even though they barely hit hard. They did like, so we get like 10 more defense. They've tried to attack Lulu twice now and missed each time. They are not especially good at this. And Kamari and Titus really don't even have to attack this. That, like, they can just wait. It just doesn't matter. This is, this, these are meaningless fights for us. I decided here that since Titus and Kamari are both going to get to attack before the machine does, we would instead uh, just, you know, not waste our MP. Does that make sense to you? Like, if 4 MP, or we could just attack. I mean, it takes slightly more time, and we're not really going to run out of MP anyway, but... It's it's the practice of the thing. You gotta you gotta get used to saving everything you can just in case you go a while without finding a save spot or a healer. We don't know how many of these things are gonna be coming. There could be dozens of them. It's it's not, but it could be. Uh, this time, because I know it's gonna be more than just two, I decided to haste Lulu so that we can not double cast, but essentially double cast. I'm pretty sure after we kill this one, uh, two more come. It's one or two more. Because see, when we killed the one, we didn't kind of take the other, the, we didn't move positions. So that's how you know that more are to come. But we have Lulu still hasted, so it's fine. Only one of them is going to get to attack. It's not really a whole lot we can do now, we just have to eat some damage. Again, we're going to do the same strategy we did before, because we're just saving MP. We have, uh, we have no reason to waste it on that guy. Absolutely none. Two more even, wow. It's like six of these dudes in one battle, they're not even going to get to attack. Look at the turn count. So because we have Lulu hasted, uh, she's going to get to attack again before this dude. That's fantastic. Uh, we're going to heal Lulu as well. I don't think there's a save before the next fight. And I think this is the last fight before like a boss. So we want to go into that with as healthy as possible. Pretty sure here. Oh, we got a cutscene. We're in battle position. Oh, we got green screened. You see that? That would be really easy to replace with a funny image. Too bad I'm not that person. Wow, it's 2-2 with just two minutes left. Uh, each half is five minutes long. 
Oh, they're just beating up on Waka. The foul. There are no fouls in Blitzball. There's not a single foul in Blitzball. At least not when we're playing. He's still in there, kind of, but like he's gonna drown, right? Ooh, you're kind of mean. Oh, he's okay now. Hey, there's a save spot. We'll use that to heal, and now we can go on. I guess all of that saving of stuff was a waste, because uh, we didn't have to do it all. We, we had a save spot, so okay, fine. Apparently they're on board this ship. I don't know how we knew that, but we knew that. I also don't know how Lulu, one, got ahead of us, and two, jumped. We already saw she does not have feet. Oh, that is a... That's a big boy. That's, uh... That's gonna be fun to fight, isn't it? That, that could hurt us. That could do some damage. Good thing this is a gimmick fight. We don't have to actually fight it head-on. Oh, thanks, crane. Titus. Uh, so we're not actually going to use the crane yet. We're instead going to haste Lulu. Because uh, if you try to use the crane now, as it uh, kind of tells you to do, uh, it won't work. Because uh, it needs to be started up first. It it needs to be shot like two or three times, I think, with lightning. Then you can uh, Then you can start up the crane. This thing has 6,000 health, which is quite a bit of hell. Mute ball? Oh boy, if that hits Lulu, we're in big trouble. Because uh, that would silence her and means we can't use spells. And uh, we kind of need to use spells in this fight. Oh, we're really close to getting it started. I really hope it doesn't decide to mute ball us. Actually, I think that's a counter attack it does. Yeah, it looks like it has a counter attack. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, is this the last one? Can we... Yeah, it looks like it started up now. So now we can go trigger command, use the crane. Oh, it had way more health than I thought. It's 65,000, not 6,000. Yike. Or did I read that wrong? So this is apparently Titus controlling this right now. And we just took away its best weapon and did a lot of damage to it. Okay, I think I misread the health. I did, it was 6,000. I was right originally. Oh, it was the crane's health I was looking at that was 65,000. That's it. Alright, so that was that fight. Uh, if you don't use the crane, it's a lot harder, but still doable. But if you use the crane, it's, it's incredibly simple. And if you lose the fight, you're dumb. It's basically what it comes down to. And wow! Yuna knocked that guy right out, I guess. She did some Metal Gear Solid stuff and just took him out and then it's like oh hey I didn't know you guys were here now we're really glad she's safe I hope you hurt them oh she did Hello. she did she is solid snake with her base 10 attack power compared to everyone else like she and Lulu can't do physical attacks or can't do damage with them essentially there were these all bed that saved my life when I first came to spirit. The ship does look like that one, doesn't it? On their ship. They even gave me food. Similar, at least. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship. But it's not. How would you know? Like, you only saw it at night. I wonder if they're all gone. I mean, I don't think that one had a crane. Maybe it did, though. Came up near I don't remember. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Or them. They also could have died. Was there... Anyone called Sid on that ship? We only learned one person's name. They did not speak very good English. I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed. See, Titus gets it. I see. So who's Sid? He is a recurring Sid? character in the Final Fantasy I series. Also, Yuna's uncle, apparently, in this one. Mm. I haven't played all of the Final Fantasies, but from what I understand, there is a Sid in each in each one of them. On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. Wow. He became distant after my mother married. Why though? Why did he become distant? But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. Oh, which we do. You're worried he was. Yeah, I would. Don't tell Waka I would also worry. About Yuna's lineage. Yeah, but why, Lulu? About Waka? He never had much love yeah, because he's a racist. 
Whoa. The... I, I gotta tell Waka. <laughs> I thought I told you not to tell Waka. That's a good one. The game. Oh. Yeah, the game. And now Lulu does something that we never, ever do again. She teleports us. At least we assume she teleported us. I don't know what actually happened. Oh, so they got 30 seconds left in this game. 30 seconds left. The Aurochs are launching an all-out Which is probably a bad idea, considering only Waka and Dado can shoot, but sure. A long pass from Letty. Letty was not there. He was ahead of us. Okay, sure. You say so, game. That is not how Waka shoots. Wow, that was a that was a buzzer beater right there. Oh, and then Waka died. It's like the wrestler. This is that that was the end of the wrestler right there. Like Waka's almost retired. But he's like, I'm gonna leave it all out on here on on the line, and uh, and he did. He absolutely did. And uh, maybe he died. And if you haven't seen the wrestler, uh, go see the wrestler because it is a fantastic movie. Uh, the ending is not that clear. You don't see him die. Um, it's just maybe implied. Excuse Spoiler alert for this 12-year-old movie. It's really, really good, though. Even even knowing what it's about, even knowing how it ends, kind of. It's a fantastic movie. You should see it, absolutely. It is, like, one of my favorite sports movies. And I know pro wrestling isn't a real sport, but it's it's a sport. It's a sports movie, anyway. Uh, I know we're kind of in a rush, a little bit less rush than we were before, but still kind of a rush. But I'm pretty sure there's goodies back here. Magic Sphere, that'll be kind of helpful, maybe. HP Sphere, that'll be kind of helpful, maybe. That'll just add a, a good HP node on the grid for us to activate. Is there a thing there? I thought maybe there was. Well, we rescued Yuna, so uh, that made for a pretty good episode, right? <laughs>